Hi, I'm Congressman Don Bacon, and I represent the 2nd District of Nebraska. Nebraska is a young state, only 150 years old, and the people here really believe that the power of government rests on the people. In honor of Bill of Rights Day, I want to reflect on what our Constitution means to me as a member of Congress, but also as a veteran and a citizen of the United States. Our Constitution and Bill of Rights makes our country the greatest and best in the world. These documents guarantee that no one person will oversee our personal lives or our liberty and freedom. In order to guarantee that, our founding fathers, the people who wrote these documents of freedom, designed a government that was vested in what is called separation of powers. The separation of powers led to the formation of three branches of government, each with different roles. The legislative branch, which, make, which makes the laws, the executive branch, which executes and enforces the laws, and the judicial branch, which interprets and applies the law. As a member of the legislative branch and as a citizen, I hold the importance of Article I of the Constitution very close to my heart. Article I is what established our two-body Congress, consisting of the House of Representatives and the Senate. The House of Representatives has 435 members, including me, which are distributed throughout the states based on population, while the Senate has two representatives from each state. These two legislative bodies were created so that the power of authority did not solely rest with one institution, helping to create checks and balances. When the Constitution was written, so thought immediate revisions or amendments were needed to clarify the role and limitations of the federal government, and so the Bill of Rights were produced. The Bill of Rights includes 10 amendments that were ratified by the states. The 10th Amendment, which is often overlooked, is important because it says that any powers now given to the federal government belong to the states. This ensures that the people have yet another way to, to have a say in how laws governing them are made locally. State and local laws can develop uh, them based on their needs and wants. At the same time, it guarantees that the states cannot overlook or try to bypass federal laws related to the power specifically assigned to the federal government. Our federal system remains very important. The Constitution and the Bill of Rights makes our nation the greatest in the world. We believe in the power of the people, not one man. As a veteran of the United States Air Force, I've seen firsthand how people in other countries have their voices suppressed. I've seen how governments in other countries tell their citizens what they can do and what they cannot do. I am thankful that we have the freedom to set our own course, to form a government that is run by the people, and to be able to freely discuss ideas and to worship as we please. I am thankful for our freedoms and for the opportunities each of us have to reach our full potential. God bless America.